Hello everybody, as you see me, I'm back again. It's Marvin J and you're watching Spy Book. And today I have a very special person with me and that is Sam Praise, who is going to help in hosting Spy Book. So welcome to Spy Book, Kenneth. Thank, thank you very much. How are you? Fine, thank you. Congratulations, I heard that you're giving me a baby girl. Yeah, yes. yeah. It's, it's been a very, very long, it's, it's like no, long nine months now and now I'm free and I'm back. So you hear from me. Thank you, thank you. We, we are going to talk about um, child education and it's been a while that we've been noticing and we've been hearing of um, teenage pregnancies and a lot of um, sexual transmitted diseases and this is something that is bothering a lot of parents who don't know what to do about it and so I think we should talk about it and help out. And if anybody has a solution, should speak out because our teenagers are going astray. So can it, you have anything yeah, to say? Yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, because uh, we must we must let them know the right way that they should pass, and then the parents too should help. Because if they are doing something wrong, and then uh, you, the parents, you don't tell us, we cannot know that we are doing something wrong because you have been there before. That's we right. are not coming, so we need your advice, your help to let us work on the right way. So today we are here. with their youth because lack of communication is what is bringing up all these things I learned recently um, a very growing up started distributing A's like giving gifts since it's a mass he started distributing A's just all the A's only pass the whole A's but the youth are not educated Italy they are assigned almost six people and he knew it. it um, I remember back in Africa, we used to tell you don't have sex because you're going to get pregnant. Nobody would tell you don't have sex because you're going to have AIDS. And right now, this is what is killing our youth. So I need or I'm asking, please stay away from sex. Get educated. Right now, the internet is there and you can learn everything from it. So stay away from sex. Yeah, as my sister is saying, education is the key to success. So uh, let your education be strong and later you can do whatever you, that you want. You were saying that the kids don't know, the girls don't know that this person is having AIDS. No, not like that. They are they are money conscious because he will lie to them that he's having this and then they'll go for it. So today my advice to you, the youth out there, that be educated, get the education, then later you can do whatever that you want because AIDS is real. Trust me, AIDS is something real. Don't waste your life. Life is very good to enjoy. So stay there and be educated and stay out from sex. Thank That's you. It. And don't feel shy to ask a question. Don't feel shy to talk about something that you don't know with your parents because I think they are always ready to help us. But the parents too are thinking that we don't know about it. But today the youth, we know more than the parents because uh, they, they go more on the internet than the parents. So uh, when you go on the internet, try to learn. Don't Not try to, only Facebook. Let me say this, don't try to watch those things that you shouldn't watch, okay? I'm telling you that you're watching us. Okay, and we are going to talk about um, Reggie and Bodhi also. They are making Ghana proud. Of course. Um, they are making uh, Europeans in Ga Ghanaians in Europe proud. So we are very, very proud of them. And keep voting for them. They are to the finals. Keep voting. Yes. Let your vote go. Yes. Reggie and Bodhi, big up, guys. You're doing great. <laughs> You're doing good. Love you. <laughs> and we talk about the easiest. Since it's, um, we know or we were taught that Islam is for peace. We are a, bit, a little bit worried about what's course, going on because it's like, um, how do you say, do you see a Muslim brother? Like, you see him with a beard, like, the beard as um, our brother <laughs> Kenneth is having, covered up. You just get scared in the bus, you just get scared in the train, you say, oh my God, is he having something on him? This is what most of, most of us are thinking, but I don't think, yeah, you're yes, right, you're um, right. Uh, but first of all, let me tell you one thing. Uh, I'm not a Muslim. I'm yeah. just doing it to be more cute. That's why I'm... Uh, that's why ah, okay, I have so the bit... Ah, okay, it's yeah. for... And also, uh, I want to tell something to you people out there that these things that are going on are not for Muslims. Mm -hmm. See, terrorists can be uh, a Christian, can be a Muslim, can be any other religion. 
But all I want to tell you is that uh, we shouldn't think it's from those people. And we shouldn't get scared of them. You're right. Because um, even if it's from Muslims, not everybody is of ISIS or not everybody is a terrorist. As Christians, may do I, I I know a lot of people who kill themselves, they kill their family and a lot of things. But we don't get scared when we see people. So let's treat our brethren equally and uh, let's try to make peace work. You see when a Christian says God is great, uh, it's normal for each and everyone. That's but when a Muslim says Allah God they think very bad, yeah, yeah. but that's something that is very wrong. Yeah. We shouldn't think that when they say Allah Akbar, that means uh, they are coming to do something. That means God is great. So we shouldn't uh, focus that Christ, uh, Muslims are doing those things. All Muslims are terrorists. They are not Muslims, they are not Christians. They are a group of people that they are doing those things. So my brethren there, if you're a Muslim, I want to tell you that uh, don't give up on what you're doing. Exactly. Allah is great, God is great, we are all one, we love you all. <laughs> so uh, once again, uh, God bless Just Feel TV for bringing this thing, this advice that you are hearing today and also God should uh, keep them well, God should uh, give them that strength to do this work. That they are not any, but they have taken it as a World Cup. God bless you guys. We have having fun. Enjoy. <laughs>